Hey everybody, as I mentioned last week, we're on hiatus for this week and this week alone. Next week we'll have a full episode for you, but we still decided to shoot a shorter episode about one of my all-time favorite subjects, video game GIFs. First of all, I don't really care how you say it, GIFs or GIFs, doesn't really matter to me. But second of all, GIFs are not a totally like throwaway subject. In fact, I think that video game GIFs play a very important role in the creation and uh, sustenance of video game culture. One of the things that makes games different as compared to other mediums is the fact that not everyone experiences the same thing at the same time. So when you go to the movies, you all watch the same thing, then you can walk out of the theater and talk about it with each other. I think one of the barriers to a common video game culture is this lack of water cooler type experiences where everyone sees or does the same thing and then they can talk about it afterwards, with the exception of games on rails. I think that GIFs allow people to encapsulate particular moments in time that they've experienced in games and then share them with the rest of the world and I think that that's going to be really really important for the development of video game culture going forward. In any case, let me show you some of my favorite gifts. This first one comes from Grand Theft Auto 4 and shows Luis driving through downtown Manhattan or Liberty City as you will. A baby grand piano it reminds me of that amazing Vanessa Carlson video. I can like hear it in the background. Make a Downtown. This next one comes from Skate 3, one of my all-time favorites. Has a lot of glitches in it, as you can probably tell, I like glitches a lot. Uh, one of the reasons that I like it is that a lot of the bloopers and glitches from Skate 3 do have this sort of like absurdist, kind of like Chaplin meets Dali kind of quality to it that can only be recreated in games and then shared with the rest of the world with a beautiful gif. This next one comes from Battlefield 4, and the reason that I like it is because it captures this moment of profound excellence. Attaching an explosive device to an air aircraft and then exploding it moments before to destroy another enemy aircraft. It's like the catch or the immaculate reception. It's just this powerful moment in time. Throwing in the end zone. This is what I like from Halo because it exposes how the rules of games sometimes don't quite act the way that you want them to. The Warthog is supposed to flip itself over but there are so many people trying to get into it that it creates this clown car-esque kind of thing. It's a total mess. You know the feeling though, I'm sure. There are lots of amazing things that have been enabled by Gary's Mod, which allows people to create fascinating new types of inventions inside the world of Half-Life. But I like this one in particular because of the juxtaposition between who G-Man is in the game, this mysterious, sinister character, and who he is right here. A complete and total nut job. I know a lot of the gifts that I've shown are pretty funny because gifts are generally pretty funny, but this one that comes from Animal Crossing has been around for quite some time. It tells the story of a boy and his mother who isn't quite well. You should watch the whole thing. It's less of a gif and more of like a short film. There's a great twist at the end. It's pretty heartbreaking, so get the tissues ready. This one from LA Noir shows a man who is suddenly hit with the full weight and desperation and ennui of the modern human condition, or it's just a man falling down a set of stairs. You make the call. This one from Super Smash Bros. Melee I really like because I played a lot of that game in college, but also because it fully captures how much of a jerk Captain Falcon is. I mean, he's already won. He's just pouring salt in the wound. If you're like me, probably you've had points in time where you had to explain something that's happened in a game to someone who has no interest or experience or knowledge of what you're even talking about. So if you're trying to show them how difficult Dark Souls is, this GIF will help you bridge the gap. This one is from The Sims. There are no words to fully describe this. And finally, one of my all-time favorites. I know I shouldn't return to the world of Grand Theft Auto, but I could not help myself. This one feels like a setup for a joke. A horse walks into a car, and then you can see the rest. That's it for me. These are my favorite video game gifts, and you should leave your favorites in the comments. As we said, I'll be back next week with a full episode, so take care. I'll see you next week.